A child is born, a blessing from heaven, a link to the future. Through our children, we live on. Through our children, our hopes and dreams continue from generation to generation. From the earliest of age, we already begin to think of being mothers and fathers and having our own children. As we get older, our anticipation of getting married and starting a family grows much stronger. And when the great day arrives, our hearts are filled with the precious hope that we too will begin the holy task of raising up the next generation. But for many Jewish couples, this hope has been shattered. The bitter realization that they might never have children. The tormenting thought of no link to the future. The terrible anguish of feeling barren. It's almost as if there's something very defunct, very, very um, as, as if the, a part of you is dead. Disappointment month in, month out of uh, shattered hopes and becomes an all-consuming uh, <clears throat> feeling, an all-consuming uh, emotion. And uh, basically there's nothing, until such point, there's, there's almost nothing else that, uh, that one focuses upon. Puravu is a mitzvah, and this is really one of the more unique situations where you want to and you want it and you are cognizant of the fact that for this you were created, it's the perpetu you know, to perpetuate Am Yisrael, and you're prevented. Today, there is hope for Jewish couples who believe they are prevented from having children. Rabbi Nachum Tenenbaum, founder and director of Tzir Chemed, knows that miracles can happen. In fact, Rabbi Tenenbaum and his staff at Tzir Chemed are making them happen every day. The small, modest facility of Tzir Chemed has already become the address of hope for many distraught Jewish couples from around the world. We carry on to help couples to feel they came to the world with a purpose to have a child. Because the Jewish people, every Jew, every couple, even non-religious, not think, even non-Jew, but by Jew is very well known. The happiness of the life is to bring a child to the world. This is the most important. During the day, Dr. Baruch Brooks, Tzir Chemed scientific director, works as an embryologist and a religious supervisor in a test tube baby laboratory at one of Jerusalem's leading hospitals. In the evenings, Dr. Brooks dedicates his time counseling couples and managing the laboratory of Tzir Chemed's fertility center. My relationship with Reb Nochum goes back many years, and when he decided to form Tzir Chemed, uh, it was almost a natural thing that we joined together and combined his love of chesed, of doing good and helping people, with my, and Dr. eventually Dr. Schreiber's, professional abilities to be able to translate that chesed into real-life help. Dr. Chava Schreiber, a gynecologist obstetrician educated in France with a specialized degree in gynecological surgery, is the medical director of Tzir Chemin. Her unique combination of professionalism and Jewish religious observance typifies the staff of Tzir Chemet and distinguishes it from the other fertility organizations. The whole team, we're a team, we're a family, if I almost would say. And uh, we get, we get Yiddish Nachas from all the kids we get. <laughs> the latest to join the Tzir Chemet team is Dr. Michel Ermano from Paris. With a rich 30 years of experience as a gynecologist, obstetrician, and fertility expert, Dr. Ermino feels highly motivated in coming to Israel and using her talents for the benefit of the Jewish people. <laughs> Outside of the professional satisfaction of my work, I feel much joy because I'm involved in a sacred task. To help a couple bring a Jewish soul into the world, this is really holy work. When we first found out that things weren't going exactly the way that we thought it should be going, um, we automatically thought, Oh, run to America, that's for sure. I don't want to criticize anybody in America, but it was a wrong choice for us. It set us back, I would say, a few years. Oh, so we went to a number of specialists, and some of the experiences were very good, and some of the experiences were uh, quite the opposite. <coughs> uh, we found that there were some practitioners who were 
um, callous with some practitioners who we felt took advantage, uh, perhaps uh, overtreated and um, uh, demanded many, many tests that might have been an unfair expense. I went to conventional doctors and they were nice, but um, a few of them overdosed me um, with unfortunate results. Many uh, issues of halacha that come up that quite often doctors are either not knowledgeable or not sympathetic. This is a, a major problem in, uh, in fertility treatment. The conception of a Jewish child should be a, an association between the husband, the wife, and the Creator. And we do our best to make sure that that remains that way as much as is practically possible. Fertility is a very delicate matter. We don't realize what a miracle it is when it works, quote unquote, naturally. It's so delicate that if all the ingredients are not there, it does not work. And I remember a specific woman where I first literally had to support her psychologically, and then realized she needed a little tablet of something, some kind of cortisone, on top of the shots, delicately given and not shooting so strongly that the woman ends up in the hospital being hyperstimulated. Our guiding light here in Tirchemid is to try as much as possible to reduce the technology that we expose our couples to. If it's necessary, we're not afraid to use or to refer couples to the most advanced technology that's available here in Israel and around the world. We realized when we met Dr. Brooks that uh, here was a person who was so dedicated to uh, helping people in general and religious people in particular navigate through the entire process of uh, fertility treatment, um, both with a high sophistication, a high level of medical expertise, and at the same time with uh, a high regard uh, for halacha, with the ability to consult with many great Torah scholars and poskim. They started with the easiest procedures, easiest and procedures trying and not until to they needed to, uh, whenever they need to move up, they move up. They don't move up just because of the success rate. Right, but that was the word you I know, wanted to say. That, uh, that they didn't try to do things that may be dangerous just had their name as they have the best success rate around. For biology, you go to a doctor. For the nefesh, you go to a psychologist. And for the neshama, you go to the rav. The virtue of, of Tzir Hamed is its holistic approach. There is a medical professional, medical uh, expertise. From what I understand, you know, top medical uh, expertise in the field, in addition to top halachic expertise, as well as emotional support. And that's something very unique. I haven't seen that anywhere. I think this is what makes it special. It's a warm, caring place. And the Nachas is with every couple, what they come and go over. And I can see the doctors jumping, with the Schreiber, with the Hermano, were telling me, oh, you know what, today is success rate. And thank God, last year by himself, 1999, we had over 112 children. Pregnant and not pregnant, uh, have already babies. It's been pregnant, it could be more. But the people of Tzir Chemed are not satisfied with only helping couples in Israel. And we see ourselves having a responsibility towards the Jewish community at large. We would like very much for all Jewish couples, wherever they are around the world, to have the same type of treatment that people get here in Tzir Chemed. We do get phone calls, letters, faxes, and emails from literally all over the world. In Canada, uh, in Manchester, in England, uh, and Paris, France, we already have the start of a network that will bring together people in the community with their rabbis, with their doctors. Today, there is hope for Jewish couples miracles can happen. In fact, Rabbi Tenenbaum and his staff at Sir Chemed are making them happen every day.
you help Sir Hamed, you're helping to bring another Jewish soul into the world. You're giving the gift of life.